So today we have to frag a Raja Rampage Chalice. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So it's up, way up top, up here in the back. You know, it's doing great. I've, I've uh, fragged this thing, God, 20 times. Um, but see what's happening here is if I can give you a top down view. So there is a Montipora Setosa underneath it and we are like shading, gosh, so, so much of it. Um, it's turning pale under there and it's like, it's hard to see. You'll see after I, after I frag this thing, but, um, yeah, there, there's a big colony under there that's just, we're, we're going to lose because of, of shading. Um, so this guy's got to come out. Um, I think the plan, what I, what I normally do is I, I cut it right in half, right down the middle. Um, and then I let it heal up. And then after it heals up, I'll move it to the other tank. So that's what I just keep doing, you know, and I got the, uh, I keep half in here at all times and it just keeps regrowing. Okay, so if we're lucky, this thing will just come right out of here. There it goes. Pop. Yeah, look at this bad boy. So, put it in the tray and we'll bring it to the saw. Okay, so, here we go. Try to get this guy back in the water as fast as we can. You gotta try to stay right between the eyes. So there you go guys. So you know what I'm gonna do? So this one's gonna go back in the tank to regrow. And then this guy here, I think I think I'll just, I'll make um, some chunkier frags, you know? Um, so we'll see, I'll just cut up a few pieces of it here. Okay, so I made one, two, three, four, I made five frags and then half of that's gonna go right back where, where it came from and it'll regrow in uh, six months. I'll, I'll do the same thing again. With the Raja Rampage chalice gone, um, you can see here is the Satosa underneath that was getting shaded. So it's going to love having the light on it again and uh, it'll color up real nice. And we're going to put the chunk of chalice right back there. It's going to regrow and uh, we can do this all again in about six months or so. What I like to do is I like to put glue on the coral itself out in the air and then what I do is I put glue on the rock underwater and then when you combine the two it kind of locks together so you want to make sure that everything's getting light as it was before and I think that's going to be perfect what do you guys think? Okay guys, so what I did was I, I put the original back here like we just talked about. Um, but then I put these guys over here, you know, to um, just to, you know, the edges are brittle. So there's a couple spots where they snapped and, um, you know, just give them some time to heal up where they're, you know, close to the same spot that they're, uh, they're used to growing at. So just to kind of relieve some of the stress before we move them out into the store. Um, and I, I threw another one over over here. It seemed to be about the same kind of light. So once they're healed up, we'll we'll pop them off, and then uh, we'll put them on frag plugs and uh, have them for sale. Mini colonies of Rock Jot Rampage.